open for us the blessings and realities of these holy nights that a reminder always for myself that Holy Qur'an and the people of Malakut they want us to understand the world of light not the world of form. That this Holy Qur'an and the Kitab of Allah the book of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad There is no book. If you have a phone why Allah has to have paper? This is old technology. New technology by kun fayakun every app is on that phone. I want hadith, any hadith book I want I download it. The energy comes and that smartphone has everything. So means that the furqan and the mushaf that you carry is not the reality. This is a manifestation. During the time of Sayyidina Muhammad there's no kitab. Prophet is walking kitab, kitabullah. They were writing but they didn't put anything together in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad right? Correct? So walking kitab. So when Allah making reference to walking kitab then they begin to teach Furqan, Qur'an, Ummul Kitab. Furqan is what 99% of all people are reading. That they read the Mus'haf and they only understand right and wrong. They read right and wrong, right and wrong and based on that belief they can inflict all sorts of confusion upon the earth. Qur'an is a mixture from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Means you cannot take the mushaf without the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Because they want us to know the reality of Qur'an is coming from where? Manzal al-Qur'an is qalb of Sayyidina Muhammad the ruhaniyat. The light of Prophet is in the oceans of light and all reality and that that Qur'an is manifesting, eternally manifesting a reality not created and manifesting from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So that Qur'an has to have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad as soon as the muhabbat and the love of Prophet comes means you have now the nazar of the Arabic Prophet. That reality of Prophet has to enter, then you begin to read, the mixture becomes the Qur'an because the qaf all the way to the noon, the noon is a nur. The light does not come without the power of that qaf. It's the izah of Allah its might and its majesty is not just going to be opened for anyone. They get the barakah of Furqan, they get the barakah of Furqan that they understood right and wrong. But real Qur'an has power. Allah just says, it can revive the dead. You know anyone who can recite that now and revive the dead? <laughs> Where's their power? They can recite and move mountains. Allah just said, not you threw, we threw. They can take a rook and throw it with Allah's izza, might and everything can vanish. It has power. How its power has to have the light of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's maqam al-iman where if you don't love me more than you love yourself you're not achieving faith. So from Islam and Furqan you have to have iman. Iman is to love the prophetic reality more than we love ourselves, and that's all the prophets and all the books because you don't establish faith without accepting all of Allah's books, loving all of God's prophets, accepting the, the, the destiny good and bad from Allah 
belief in Allah as unseen angels, the unseen reality. As soon as you talk unseen, you lose half the audience. They say, oh, oh, oh we don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> the unseen is the malakut, it's the whole deen. The malakut and the light, it controls the world of form. The, the angelic light, the atomic reality is the power for everything that's manifesting. Everything that is appearing is by the power and the might of its light and its reality. The light and the reality makes the form to appear. Means with that light of faith then the light and the holy realities of Qur'an is opening. Why we want to know is because when we're coming for Laylatul Nisf al-Shahban they want to know just like Laylatul Israhi wal Miraj, where is Laylatul Shahban? Why Layl? Means that they're teaching that this reality that we want, we want the dress of Holy Qur'an is manifesting in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad It's a world of light, it's like an ocean of light known as Muhammadun Rasulullah You're not in La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah is the power of Muhammadun Rasulullah So means that as soon as we love our arwa, our soul is moving into that ocean. Only love can take our soul to its destination, not your aqal. Your mind can't send your soul into the ocean, into the heart of Prophet Only muhabbat. The muhabbat, it shuts the mind off and it pulls the soul. Love is the strongest bond. Love is the strongest bond, not the aqal. The mind is just the ocean of confusion. Love, that which you love, your soul bonds with it. Love of the Prophets, your soul bonds with them. Love of the Divine, your soul bonds with it. It's the love that pulls you into their presence. Means that when our love is coming to them, they're pulling us into that heart. They're pulling us into the center of the ocean of power. In that center of ocean of power is Laylatul Nisf al-Shabban. Layl because you have to annihilate, not the day, the Layl. Layl and every event in our culture is signified by the night. Why? It means don't come to me manifesting who you are. You had to be nothing first. Layl is to be annihilated. That don't come with your identity and think that you know you're something or we're something. So the turuqs come to teach, ah na abdukal ajeez or ta'eef or miskeen or zalim or ja'al. I am verily but an oppressor to myself, my Lord. I'm nothing. I'm the first of those who oppressed myself and I'm asking for your majesty and your might. When Allah accepts, when God Almighty accepts and believes that you really believe you're nothing, He frees the body and the soul. He frees. Maut al qabl al maut is that He takes you to a station of death and annihilation where you truly believe, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. I'm trying my best to reach towards Your, your majesty and Your might. Allah make the body to enter a death state what they call the event horizon in energy, right? Means that if you're on and your positive charge is very much for your physicality, you're too much locked into the physicality. So the tawbah and the, the gate of forgiveness is you truly have to believe, Ya Rabbi I'm nothing, I'm nothing. I've cried so many tears in my nothingness. I understood I was a hypocrite, I understood I did everything wrong. And only Allah said, don't come through the door of belief but tell Allah I am those who disbelieve, Ya Rabbi have mercy upon me. Whatever I did, I don't think you're going to count it as belief and iman. I'm nothing, I'm nothing. So and then this positive charge within our body, it begins to diminish. And then there's an event horizon when you're actually trying to die inside. Your being is, is losing its excitement. 
its zeal and its love for the material world begins to go. Not that you don't function, you function really hard. That's why the whole balance, you work really hard all day and you pray all night. And I recognize I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And when Allah God Almighty accepts the repentance, what happens? The energy diminishes and what they call the event horizon is like a death in which God Almighty brings the power of the soul out and flips the contract. Because now your soul is governing for only Allah, they're not trapped in their body. 90% of the people they're trapped in the body trying to have an experience and the body's fighting, no, 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 we're not going to have experience. Death means the body died and Allah reversed the contract. They operate from their soul. The energy that you feel in the association is because the shaykh's soul is out. They hear with their soul, they see with their soul, they breathe with their soul. Their soul is like Fulq al mashhoom Surat al Yaseen is the secret of this heart. This heart of Allah that wants to manifest the secret is Surah Yaseen وسلم, and why Habib? Because he's the love. Allah's love is in this Surah Yaseen and is in Sayyidina Muhammad is his name. So Allah says every amr and every irada is coming from this heart. It's not you're going to find Allah somewhere. You're not going to end up one day and, and die and say, God is sitting on a chair. Those are mujassimiyun. Those are different uh, uh, madhab that they made God to have a figure. But Allah has no figure, la sharik, la shabi, nothing is like unto Allah He's outside of the ocean of creation. Creation is Muhammadun Rasulullah So means that they teach us love, love be nothing, be nothing. That's why then all the adab is don't fight, don't argue. We never get into conflict because I'm trying to reach the event horizon. I'm trying to be nothing. Then God Almighty will support and say, I'm going to send every type of test to you, be nothing. Everyone will curse you, everybody will backbite you, everybody will come against you. If you really want it to be off, this is binary code, on, off, on, off, on, off. If you're able to reach that binary code to be off, Allah will be on. But if you want to be on, Allah keeps a distance, there's no off, just Allah keeps the distance. So when they teach us, be nothing, be nothing, your soul is moving into that presence of love because it's a ship. This fuluk, it's guided completely. It knows how to get to its destination, that is the ship of Iman. When it knows who to love, it's the GPS, I love them and I want my soul to be with them and Prophet said, you will be with whom you love. Put the love on the compass and the rest the soul knows how to get there. The good action, good character, negate the self, makes the body to get out of the way. The body wants to fight, the body wants to argue, the body wants to give jawab and an answer back with its tongue to hurt people. If you can close those functions, the body begin to like it's dead, I give up. A horse that gave up fighting the soul will come out. When the soul comes out, it begins to enter the ocean of Iman. Iman with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad they read one line of Qur'an and the huruf begin to speak to them. We said many times, they say, Alif, Lam, Mim. As soon as they say Alif, Izzatullah and all the realities of Izzatullah begin to dress upon their heart. They say, Lam, and Allah make a talking angel to begin to speak into their heart that this Lam is Lisan al Haq. When Izzatullah comes to Lisan al Haq, what manifests? The Mim is Muhammadur Rasulullah. Alif Lam Mim. So the Qur'an is opening a story, it's saying that all of Allah's might is in a holy tongue. 
And that's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described Hadith Jabbar. I was Rasul, because Rasul means the one who speaks. I was the tongue of Allah Zawajal before Adam was between clay and water. It was a description of the Lamb. I'm a Rasul, I talk for Allah Zawajal before the form, before the mulk. I was the Rasul of Allah Zawajal and all Malakut. There's not an angel who saw Allah Zawajal. There's not a prophet who saw Allah Zawajal. There's no one who saw Allah Zawajal. And Allah Zawajal says, it's not to His Majesty that anybody see Him, but that they talk behind the parda or they talk to the Rasul. So when the awliya know, there's no, you're not going there. You're not going to, to the Marifa of Allah Zawajal. Marifa of Allah Zawajal is what He loves. When he loves you, he wants to send you to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad He sends you where he loves, he loves the reality of Prophet So Qur'an is maqam al-iman, that the light of Prophet is dressing them like a laser. What is the concept of the laser is, is that something is burned upon a disc and all its realities are put onto this disc. I give you the disc, how do you play the disc? with a light. But can you put a flashlight from home on the, on the CD and say, okay, now I'm going to start pulling out the music of this CD? It's a light. Why doesn't that light open the reality of the CD? No, it has to be a very specific light. It has to be a haqqaiq from Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam's light. Well, Allah says, says that, watch out for the firasal. The firasal is looking from the light of Allah They look into all your being, into your heart and into what's written upon your soul. That light is from Nur Muhammad When they look with that light, they hit the CD and all the information begins to appear. So who, who's the CD? It's the soul. Alam al-Qur'an khalaq al-insan. I gave all this alam onto your reality. I didn't create you empty. I taught you all these realities upon your soul. I then created your physical vehicle like a car for you and later on sent you into that body. Not to be lost in the body, but to seek who you were, what your soul was. So when that light is dressing them in maqam al-iman because they lost themselves, they loved Prophet more than they love themselves, now they see with Nur Muhammad They hear with the light of Prophet They speak with the light of Prophet Their hands have a tabarak and blessing from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad and their qadam is qadam as sadiq and muqaddam. Their feet are on the feet of their shaykhs who inherited from the siddiqiyya way of all the turuqs. So they understood. This is now in the heart and the faith, Muqam al san is now that you're in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Muqam al-Iman is Qur'an, Muqam al san is that you see Allah. The hadith was, Muqam al san is that you see Allah. If they reach Muqam al san they see what Allah want them to see. At that level is Ummul Kitab. Ummul Kitab is what? Alif Mim. Alif Mim means nothing, nothing between the Alif and the Mim, there is no teacher. The Ummi, reality of Prophet there is no teacher for Prophet Allah is the teacher of that reality. So it means that they enter into Maqam al ihsan deep into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that is Ummul Kitab. Ummul Kitab is in the heart of Prophet where every irada and every am is now forming. Irada is the unmanifest will of Allah that qudra and might is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and all surrounded that heart are the Ulul Amr. Why are they called Ulul Amr? They're waiting for the Amr, the order. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, wa Ulul Amri minkum. All the Ulul Amr were all around 100 and 212,000, 124,000 
124,000 awliyaullah circle the heart of that reality of Sayyidina Muhammad The Amr comes to them, from them go to the malaika, to the jinn, to the buddhala, nujaba, nuqab, awtadul akhyar, to the whole chain of all those servants of Allah So the Ummul Kitab is in the heart of Prophet In there there's a reality of what written on the book and that if Prophet make a du'a that Allah change what's written in the book that is in the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad and his Lord Allah Almighty. So when you ask them for du'a their soul is in that reality and it's not for them to say anything or to make complicated du'as they just mention their name that I'm a cell phone for that reality and they're hearing what you're asking. If Prophet wants to take that case and change what's written by Allah it's up to Sayyidina Muhammad through his intercession to ask Allah and that's why that du'a on this night Allah says, I'm free to change anything I want. My izza and might, my beloved if he asks me I change anything I want. Who can say no to Allah We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and keep us in the company of these ulul am who are deep within the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And the Prophet's nazar and dressing and blessing be upon them, upon Prophet upon Sahabi al-Kiram, upon Ahlul Bayt and that love dress all the way down and keep us under the shade and the nazar of that tabarak and that blessing inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa. وبصير السورة الفاتحة